Hello. Hi. We just thought we'd pop in and say hello because this is our hundredth vlog, isn't it? Yeah, you'd have guessed. I know, can't believe it. And our channel is two years old this week. It is. So even though we've not been on Narrowboat Morningstar for two years, we did start our journey, if you remember, March 2020, wasn't it? Well, you did. I yeah. didn't really have anything to do with the No, thing. no. You wouldn't appear at all, no. would you? Now I can't shut him up. <laughs> can't get a word in. <laughs> uh, it's normally yeah. you that can't get a word in, but now it's the other way around. Really? Yeah. yeah. Whoever said it's called an arable plan. Oh, I know. We've got it's like a furnace. Open. Yeah. It's so hot. Yeah, it has been snowing though, hasn't it? Today? Yeah. Which Can you shock. Yeah. A couple of days ago, walking around in t-shirts, and today we've had snow. Can't believe it. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that watches our channel and all of the support from patrons and members as well. Yeah, thanks so much. And if you don't already subscribe, please do. It really does help our channel. And I think we've said this a few times, haven't we, that less that about uh, nearly half the people that watch our videos don't subscribe. It's completely free, yeah. so please do. I know it's a bit of a pain because you have to have a, a YouTube Account. account, a Google account, a Google yeah. account, but it, it only takes five minutes and it really, really does help. And we're so close to 10,000 10, subscribers. Yeah. Um, and that'd be nice to celebrate our birthday, wouldn't it? To get to 10,000. Oh, my birthday's gone. Uh, the birthday, <laughs> but it'd be channel. nice to get there before Crick, really. <laughs> yeah, um, that'd be really nice. Um, so what have we been up to? I did mean the birthday of the channel. I did you? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all about me. <laughs> But yeah, it was Anthony's birthday yesterday. We had a nice day out at Malham, didn't we? We did. Yeah, I like Malham. Yeah, lovely. Janet's Force, uh, the lady in the cafe recognised us. Which brings us on to the fact that we've been in Yorkshire for six months nearly, haven't we? We spent over, over six months. Well, we spent three months at the marina, which was just on the border of Lancashire. Yeah, three months trapped, but what about all that time travelling through? So mm. we've been well, oh, yeah. over, well over six months yeah, we have, in Yorkshire. We? But we absolutely love Yorkshire. Yeah, I think we're going to miss it, to be honest. Definitely. It feels like feels like home. Mm, definitely going to miss it. Yeah. The scenery is stunning. But we are eager and excited to carry on our journey, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're ready now. Because, like like you said, we would... We, I think when you know you're trapped and you can't go anywhere particularly, mm. it makes you that much more sort of excited for when you can move. Yeah. Um, there's been a few things happening, haven't there? So, mm. one of the things that I'm completely obsessed with is... Um, it's doing my head in. So Chris, a guy, you'll hear about this on, on the vlog, but um, Chris, who's an electrical engineer who we met in Gargrave, um, and then we've met him again, we're ch just chatting about batteries and, and solar, and um, battery setup, and solar setup actually, because mm. the initial thought was to get a, another solar panel for the boat. Mm. Um, and then I know um, Heidi's done this on the Narrowboat Pirate boat, it's like a hybrid setup, so Chris has kind of lent us a lithium battery just to check it out, but it's got an app attached to it, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So we've ordered a bigger lithium battery, haven't we? Well, you have. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I think we should send it back, because I'm sick of this app, and he's going around switching everything off and seeing what percentage we're up to. But yeah, we could talk about that more when that vlog happens. Yes. Yeah. And, and also, just to let you know, you're more or less up to date now with our vlogs, aren't you? Because this vlog that you're going to watch this week was only <coughs> filmed on the 1st of March. Yeah, so we knew this was going to happen eventually. We didn't really film much while we were in the marina. There wasn't mm. really much to film, no. to be honest. Um, so we knew eventually we would catch up with ourselves. I know a lot of people said they've been a bit confused because it, it was Christmas only a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we are pretty much up to date now with the vlogs. Um, and just co coincides now with the starting to cruise properly again yeah. as soon as the breach is fixed we need to time it properly really um but as soon as that happens we'll be we'll be heading that way um and i knew i know there's quite a number of people trapped on the other side waiting to come up this way so mm. i think the, the wigan flight's gonna be really busy yeah well apparently the wigan flight isn't open till the 8th of april and the breach at richton isn't open till the 8th of april so i think there's gonna be a bit of a, a queue yeah, of i don't boats, think we'll be traveling there? that day that day you know. or you know maybe leave it sort of a week because yeah. we've got jobs to do prior to going through mm, we have yeah um but uh, yeah the fans are making a racket behind us isn't it yeah. uh, but yeah we just want to say a big thank you for all your support and yeah and just everyone's been really generous haven't they yeah. with the time and the comments so please keep your comments coming we really do love responding to everybody yeah. and enjoy this week's vlog 
And just for those people who are a bit concerned about the number of people selling up the boats and moving to dry land, we're not yeah. one of them. We're in this for the long haul, aren't we? Are we? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> well, I am. You're going in a home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going in a home. We absolutely love it. And just that one... That one week, well, you'll watch on this week's vlog, the week that we came out, we're sort of thinking, is it time to come out? It's still early in the year, it's only the 1st of March, but it, it just can, you know, it can, it affirmed everything that we love about boating. Yeah. And, yeah, enjoy the vlog, and yep. we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Yeah, no, Felridge. Felridge. Third one. Felridge. 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 We enjoyed Maine's power, you served as well. Hello, good morning. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's an absolutely glorious day. It's the 1st of March and we are just about to leave the marina, aren't we? Yeah, nature's definitely smiling on us because yesterday yeah. was absolutely horrific, wasn't it? Was, it? Yeah so thankful that the weather's like this yeah. today well our friends behind us who were behind us paddy and jill they've set off we just filled with fuel and water and we're going to turn around in the marina and head back out towards Falridge. yes so <laughs> barrowford locks and then Falridge. so i haven't done barrowford locks because you all did the them on your own did you all the tunnel mm. um but we're gonna have to retrace our steps because the breach isn't going to be fixed for another five weeks so that, that's that away well that, that's that, yeah and that's what they said yeah. so we'll have to wait and see um for updates and there's an update due on the 3rd of march mm. the last we heard was the 8th of april wasn't it yeah but then i had a look yesterday and there was the date had gone so whether yeah. it has been because of the storms whether mm. there's been any sort of difference in, in that date i don't know but no. um we so we're quite looking forward to going out because uh, yeah um, the tunnel's really good you've not experienced yeah. the tunnel as you said and then we're going to more on the other side of foul ridge tunnel aren't we by the yeah. service it just makes it better as well for dexter doesn't it because he's like yeah. more places to walk and without having to walk like down onto a main road and yeah you can just step um, right so off the just boat, right, yeah right on the canal so yeah he's looking forward to it we're yeah. looking forward to it we've been here for three months we've met some really lovely people haven't we yeah, yeah. in fact we're on the uh, with sue and martin last night weren't we on their yeah. boat having yeah. a few drinks yeah just a few um, and a bit of uh, cheese and cracker oh yeah and we had a really good laugh yeah, and yeah. It, it was almost like we didn't want to leave then we've been here for three months itching to leave and then because we've got to know people and we get on so well with them it's like oh, should we stay yeah. a bit longer but, yeah, but it I'm is sure. time to leave it's yeah. definitely time to leave so. yeah we need to keep moving yeah. and when we turn around and come back then hopefully we'll say hello to the people the friends that we've met yeah. at the marina right we better crack on yep. haven't we wish us luck Staying lighter a lot later, which is really nice. Yeah. 
it's weird because again you get settled into a routine in the marina and then you're thinking oh do I want to go back out it's hard work doing the locks and filling with coal and water but at the minute you're out yes yeah. it reminds you of why you do this doesn't it yeah definitely I'll probably see we'll probably see more wildlife in this 10 minutes than we have oh, all the time we've been in the marina, really. in the marina. Yeah. Yeah. Birds. We are lucky, aren't we? Yeah, very. We've got a few new patrons and some channel members. If you didn't know, you can now become a channel member and get extra benefits behind the scenes, photos and videos. Um, so yeah, we've already got our first few channel members, which is nice, isn't it? It is. I think you need to watch this tree with your camera. Yes. Yeah, I'll move my camera. Tree approaching it. Is this so is it? No. Just a little bit of So Mont's enjoying his cruising day. Hey lad. Dad says to my mum, it really cracks us up. Yeah, and that's just as hard because, well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my dad will disagree. <laughs> After about several attempts with the horn, we finally discovered it was working again.
As we approached the first lock of the day, we were really surprised to see Paddy and Jill were still sat there waiting. <laughs> About two feet. There's no fenders on this side. Oh, are they? Yeah, the other one's bent, so they'll be about two hours. Really? Yeah. Joking. Nope. Stay here. Yeah. That's your fault. Alright. See why you're the one who jumps up. We don't mind what the next. Well, we've met up with our friends and we've been told one of the paddles is damaged and the CRT are here repairing it and it should be a couple of hours, fingers crossed. Well, they worked really hard and it took them less than two hours to get the paddle repaired and we could get on with our journey. Well, you can see that the water level is really low in this pound, so I've told Anthony to wait in this lock until we release some water down from the lock above. Hopefully, stop it from getting grounded. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Emptying this lock above. Ready for Anthony to sail into. And filling that pound below. Well, that seems to have done the trick. It's a lot better than it was. I've gone back to close the gates behind me. And this one slowly fills. There was a family out for the day and they were asking how the locks worked. They also asked us how long they took. I did explain that if they helped they would be a lot quicker and they were really good and helped out and it was great help for us. Open for us to enter the lock, which 
was nice of them. The pressure was that much. It was pushing the boat right over to this right hand side. It was nearly swung across the canal. Anyway, I closed down the lock and so he's got the boat under control, which is good. Well, as soon as I started doing these locks, I thought I'm enjoying this, but after doing five, or is it six? I'm shattered. So unfit. Probably a good job we're back doing this. Just one more look, I think, after this. Not sure where it's coming from, but there's a load of water running down the wall, all over the bed, on the floor, the carpet, that's a big wet patch, it's not shadow, and into the bathroom on the floor. Well, you can see at this point the light started to fade, but we were so lucky with the weather and we're so thankful. And Jill was such a massive help with the locks. It's starting to go dark and we're about five minutes from the entrance to Bowridge Tunnel. I think it's about 50 minutes through the tunnel last time so by the time we get through the other side it will be completely dark which will be weird. I'm looking out for the bar now across this area as well. We should look. bridge before the tunnel and we got breached it just came com to a complete stop got our friends behind us Neil and Paddy they're gonna try and tow us back we've had the boat in reverse we tried rocking it, it just seems a lot of sand and we're just stuck well at first for us Getting a tow on the canal. Here we go, second attempt. We've been told to go as fast as we can. Saying what an adventurous day it's been, hasn't it, Anthony? Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> What's happened to us today? We've had some sort of leak in the bedroom. I've no idea what the hell that is. Loads of water Just down the bedroom wall. Down the wall, um, all over the carpet. So much force it's gone onto the bed. Um, no idea. No. Um, and then we've just been beached back there because it's apparently all silts up from a stream. Um, and we've had to be towed backwards by Paddy. And Neil. Yeah, as you'll probably see. So yeah, all fun and games. We've had a cut. Oh, and the other thing was our very first lock. We had to wait an hour for the. Oh yeah, because the paddle wasn't the paddle. Um, working. But yeah, they got that done quicker than we thought. All fun and games. Wow. Look at this. 
I think cruising all to all year round is the future, isn't it, Anthony? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not convinced. Well, just because we go away, I don't really want to leave the boat. I'll accept it's cool. Oh, I'd rather not go away. I'd rather stay on the boat. Well, you stay on the boat and look after it. I'll go to Grand Canary. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, is that? I don't think so. This is my second time but Anthony's first time through Fall Ridge Tunnel because he was working last time. They call it the Mile Long Tunnel. It's not dark like this, is it? Farage Tunnel was opened in 1796. <laughs> a local story reports that on the 24th of September 1912, a cow fell into the canal at Blue Slate Farm near Colne at the southern entrance to the tunnel. It then swam the full length before being helped out and revived with a brandy at the Hole in the Wall pub in Farage. The cow was known as Buttercup. Jill said, there's a space near CRT Bolt, which I think is where we're going to go. Yeah. Uh, and she was talking about Paddy Wood. We made it, folks. It's really cold. What time is it? It's about six hours after we set off. But we're going to moor up here. I think in of this CRT boat here. Okay. This, this side then? Here. This side of it. This side of it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're really cold but we're so glad we made it. And it's not exactly pitch black yet is it? But it's not far <laughs> off. Oh we've got to do that journey again in a few weeks. <laughs> no. Right then. Can you have a look what's going on? Right. This end, you're bowing a bit. Unless this had moved, I'm sure this is where she said to walk. This is the pontoon, here. Well, we soon settled down for the evening. We got the covers up and relaxed by the fire. It was an exhausting day, but really enjoyable. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and keep your comments coming. Have a great week.